playlist can help you get very, very organized with all of your videos, but I have a secret to share with you. They can also help you be found on YouTube. You can use your playlist as a search engine optimization tool. That's the whole reason you're on YouTube. You want to be found. You want people to find your videos, watch your videos, gain more views so you can make more money, right? So what I'm going to show you today is how to create a playlist. And then I'm going to show you five tips and how you can use your playlist for search engine optimization. So it really all depends on how you set it up. So that's why we're going to go over that first, because the steps that I show you are going to have certain keywords placed in certain places. And then I'm going to show you how to promote that playlist to be found. So stick around. We have a lot to cover, but I promise you it's going to help your channel grow. My name is Vanessa DeBerle and welcome to my channel. This is where I teach people how to turn their passions into profits. So thank you for watching today and don't forget to subscribe so you can see my videos every week. Now let's jump in and find out how to create a playlist and then how to make it searchable. To create a playlist, you're going to go into your account and over here on the left, you're going to see the word playlist. So go ahead and click that. Mine has playlists, so obviously they're already there. If you've never created a playlist before, just go up into the right-hand corner and it says new playlist. Now, if you already have playlists and you're wondering how to edit them or revise them or delete them, I do have a video above where you can go ahead and kind of go through that since you already know how to make the playlist. But it doesn't hurt to go through this again because what we're doing that might be different for you is we're going to be intentional about the keywords that we use instead of just trying to organize. I want you to change your mindset. Playlists are not just about organizing your videos. It's for you to create a way to be searched. So I want you to change that when you're thinking. So let's go up here and hit new playlist. And right here, you're going to put the title in. So I'm going to call my title, how to make money online. Right here, you have a choice if you want to make it public so everybody can see it, just like your video, or if you want it to be private or just people that you select or unlist it, which means people can find it, but YouTube's not really going to promote it. It's, it's harder to find. Basically, you want it to be private, most likely, unless you don't want people to find it. All right, and then we're going to hit create. This, this is a good... This is a good time right now to also point out that you want to think of your playlist as a video. I know you put a lot of work into your video when you're creating it and you're always looking for um, ways to get it for it to be found with search engine optimization. Well, I want you to start thinking of your playlist as a video. I just went ahead and hit that little pencil. That's the edit. And I'm going to go in and edit my playlist. Now, I don't have anything in here. Typically, when I create a playlist, since I already have my playlist there, I do this when I upload. You can create a new one when you're uploading a video. But for those of you that have maybe 50 or 60 videos and you've never created a playlist, this is a good way to do it. All right, so here I have my title. I can always go back in and edit it. Maybe just right now I thought, oh, I, I don't want that title. I want something different. Little pencil is the edit button. Then you're gonna go here. You've already got it placed as public. Now you're gonna um, go into the description. In the description, you want to think about keywords. My keyword is make money online. So obviously when I'm putting the description, I'm going to put that in the description. I want to make sure the description in the playlist can be picked up by the algorithms in YouTube as well as the title of the playlist. So notice I mentioned make money online three times in my description and I didn't go in there and stuff it. That's when you just put keywords because you're trying to be found. That doesn't work anymore. Um, basically that makes sense. You can make money online by, um, by as a side hustle, or you can make money online and turn it into a profitable passion, which is true. And it speaks to my audience. Now make sure you select save right here. Now I don't have any videos to put in here. Now we're ready to add some videos to our channel. I know that that's a topic or a keyword that's on my channel. So I know that I have videos under that keyword, which you should have as well. You're going to hit these three little dots right here, and this gives you some options to add videos. You can add um, a collaborate means that you're allowing other people to add videos to, to your uh, playlist if you would like them to. You can select that. Um, and then there's other playlist settings here, and here's where you can delete your playlist if you change your mind. But today what we're going to do is add videos, and this is going to give me three options. I can go in 
And I can add video, I can do a video search and that will take me publicly onto YouTube. I can add a URL of a video that I've already found that I would like to add. And we're gonna talk about that as a little bonus in a moment. And then I can go here to my YouTube videos and then I can find the videos that are about making money online and I can go through and select them and add them. Um, I'm just gonna randomly pick something for the sake of, okay, make money online without money. We'll just put that one there as an example, okay? So then we're gonna add that video. Um, let's see, seven ways to make money online as a writer. We'll add that one and five, there you go. I've got three right there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add those three into my playlist. Now you can do all kinds of things. Like if I don't want that one to be at the top, I can just simply go over here to the left, see that little hand? That shows you how you can move things and you can just move them into a different order. Let's take, you can also go over here to the side and I can say, I wanna move this one to the top. And then that will move that one up there. You can also go in and say that you wanna set one as the thumbnail. So your playlist will be set up. If you add them as you're uploading videos, then you can tell it that I want you to put the newest video at the top or the oldest video at the top. But if I want one particular thumbnail to be my playlist thumbnail, then I need it to select it here. So every time that one will always be the thumbnail. Now, personally, I would pick something more general about making money online. So it's, it's going to attract a bigger audience, not just people who want to write. But for the sake of today's video, I just wanted to point that out to you. Now, let me show you what a playlist looks like. Why is it important to have the playlist, right? I wanna show you what it looks like on other channels. I started out showing Nick Nimmin as an example. And as you can see here, he has a title for his playlist and then a description. And then he's very good at making videos that follow that description. Now, what do you do if you start getting bigger and bigger and bigger and you have tons of, of videos and you want them to be in playlists? Not all playlists have to be shown. You don't have to put them as public or you don't have to put them on your channel page, excuse me. They can all still be public and still be searchable, but they don't have to be on your channel. So setting up and customizing your channel is different than making a playlist. I used to think that, oh my gosh, if I put everything in a playlist, then it's all gotta be on my channel page and it doesn't. So that should take a little relief off of you. You wanna be intentional about what you wanna show actually on the channel. Now, here's another example of Think Media. They do a good job of making playlists as well. These are two channels that are huge. They've been around a while. And I know you like, you're trying to grow your YouTube channel. So I highly recommend that you follow these two channels because they've been around and they're, they're, they know what they're doing, right? They've got a lot of information. Now, one of the things that this channel, Think Media does, if you look in here, it says camera tutorials, best tips and tricks. But look here, it's not a video it's a playlist. It's a playlist within a playlist. So all of these different groups of videos or all these playlists, they all talk about different equipment. This one is the Canon M50. This one is talking about Sony ZV, Sony. So it's different cameras, each one. And each playlist only has six. Well, this one has 18, but anywhere from six to 18 different videos within the playlist. But each of these will be picked up as a playlist. And then they can be picked up up here as a whole bunch of playlists. So you're giving yourself even another opportunity. So what do I mean by it gets picked up? You, I assume you already have videos and you already know how to uh, add the S, uh, search engine optimization. But let's say, I wanna show you one of my playlists and that I've made before. And it's right here, SEO, oops, let me move my thing. SEO YouTube algorithms, okay? I went ahead and typed that in and look, I searched SEO YouTube algorithms playlist and look right here, it came up on the first page as number four. So my playlist came up, not my video. So be intentional about your titles and your keywords and make sure they're frequent within your descriptions and your titles. Now, this is a great way to jump into the next part of the video where we're going to talk about SEO. Five different tips and how you can be searchable using your playlist. Now, obviously I just gave you two of those. The first one is the title. The second one is description. Let me show you some other ways that you can be searchable by using your playlist. The third SEO tip is right here. Go back to your playlist. And if you put your cursor right here where it says play all, I want you to pay attention to the bottom of the page. That is the URL for the playlist. So if I were to click 
one of my videos in the playlist, which I'm going to do now, when it pops up, all the videos that are in the playlist pop up here on the side. Now, why is that important? Why do you want people to watch the video from your playlist? Well, think about it. If they're watching this one, instead of going down here and looking for all these other videos that YouTube suggests, because that's what people do. If you're looking on a topic, you get finished watching it, and then you go to the others that are on the right just for suggestions, your playlist pops up here at the top right where people can see it, and then they will keep on binge watching the rest of your videos. And that's what the goal is, to get them to watch your videos. So the URL is really important. You can also use that URL on your blog. If you're talking about this topic, you can say, hey, go to my playlist, not just to a video. You can also recommend it down in the description. So when you have your video and you have your description, you can put your uh, the link for the playlist and don't just suggest other videos. So those are two more ways that you can make your playlist searchable for SEO. I have one more way for you. You can take that URL and put it into a card. So what I want you to do is edit a video. So we're going to go into this one here and we're going to edit. And what we're going to do is make a card. So you see how during this video I've said, hey, watch this video, watch that video. Well, instead of saying watch a video, I can, and you've seen the links go up at the top, instead of putting the link to a video, I can go here where it says cards and I can insert a playlist link. I don't have to just insert video links. So that's another way that you can promote your playlist and get more watch time. And right here, I had promoted one video in this video, but I can also promote a playlist. Let me, what you do when you're in here is you just pick a time. So I'm just gonna scoot that over to here where it says 56 seconds. And at the top, I'm gonna to say, add a card. And instead of hitting video, I'm going to say add a playlist. And all you do is pop in the URL right there. And it, well, all my playlists pop up. I can just select one, how to make money online. And then it puts that playlist in there. Now, I'm not going to add it to this one. So I'm going to discard changes. But there's your fifth way. So five ways that you can make your playlist searchable. And they're all listed here as a checklist, just so you can write those down or take a snapshot real quick. Now, I promised you a bonus. Here's your bonus for today. Another thing that you can do in your playlist, let's go ahead and say add videos. Remember earlier I had you add your videos. Well, you can add another channels URL right here. So let's say that I go to Think Media. Now I'm just going to pick one randomly. So let's just pick this one for the sake of time. Um, that say that I want this video to be part of my playlist. I just put that URL in right there and somebody else's video will pop up in my playlist. I'm going to add it. Now you might say, well, is that legal? Yes, it is. When you're uploading, you have the opportunity to, to hit a little button that says, I don't want any other, I don't want any of my videos to be shared, or you can select one that says, it's okay, I will collaborate and let other people use them. So why is that a good thing? Well, there's two reasons that you might want to do this. One, it links you to that other channel. So if I link myself to another channel that's been around for a while, it gives me a little bit more credibility, a little bit more authority. And YouTube picks that up and says, wow, if people are watching Vanessa's videos and now they're watching Think Media, I might start sending some of Think Media's audience to her and some of her audience over to Think Media. It works both ways. It helps both YouTube or YouTube channels, but it gives you more credit, credibility and it allows the algorithm from YouTube to see you two as connected. So it's a good thing to do, and it's actually helping each other out. Like I said, it's a win-win situation. Their video gets seen, and after they're done watching the video, your video will come after it. So what I would suggest doing is taking this video and actually moving it up, um, maybe not there at the bottom. All right, that is it. That is all I have for today. I hope that was helpful. That was a lot of information, but all of it is really important. The biggest thing is, if you take nothing else away from today's video, remember, your playlist is like a video. It gives you another opportunity to help yourself be searched and found. So really pay attention to how you're using those keywords and how you're connecting everything, and you'll start to grow, I promise.